an Antarctic leopard seal has found an ideal holiday destination in central Auckland with free food and great sunbathing. One person is dead and five more hurt after a mass water rescue at Cable Bay in Northland. If there could be any consolation, it was that he died doing what he loved flying rescue helicopter boss. A person is in serious condition after a crash along SH-16 northwest of Auckland. 2017 was Phoebe Arch's year, even if was pretty hard on her little heart. Household travel survey shows just how carbound Kiwis are, rather than traveling by foot or bike. Georgina Gray left Gisborne on New Year's Eve after being struck down with illness at Rhythm and Vines. The owners of the dog urged the animal to attack a cat while witnesses watched on. There were plenty of young contenders in the annual Miss Kai Territory competition, but competitors were scarce in the old age groups. Mysterious steel beam fell from the sky and straight into a CHCH driver's windscreen. Three people are in Christchurch Hospital after a three-car crash at an intersection. Police have spoken to a couple seen camping at a historic homestead before it went up in flames. Tuesday's jam stretched five kilometers either side of Coromandel choke point. Today may be worse. Gales, heavy rain, big waves and particularly high tides set to strike Coromandel Peninsula on Thursday. Rates of organ donation are improving in New Zealand, but could still be a lot higher. The screech comes before their talons strike your helmet, mountain biker says. Delays are expected on road near Tauranga avoid the area if possible, police say. You hear the screech before the bang as the talons strike your helmet, mountain biker says. No one had seen or heard from the 35-year-old woman since she walked into the Kaimai Ranges. Authorities did the best to strangle the beach party, but the kids didn't care. A group of stone carvers chip and hammer away amidst the noise and dust on the foreshore. A burst pipe has caused low water pressure and discoloration in Harwar. Grace Maha WASNT expecting her baby boy to arrive on the first day of 2018. This charming trail is one of Stratford's hidden secrets. Businesses and competitors dig deep for Brass Band's annual fundraiser. Farmers face stock hulls, feed shortages and financial losses from drought. Brian Beams nearly shredded his late wife's 42nd and final book. Crash on State Highway 1 near Otaki partially blocks busy stretch of road. There were plenty of young contenders in the annual Miss Kai Territory competition, but competitors were scarce in the old age groups. A fatal crash near Nelson spread debris including children's belongings 100 meters down the road. Locomotives, steam engines, and model boats are soon to be on show at Nelson's Tuhunanui Beach. The rain that has arrived in Nelson could hang around until the weekend. A diver has been reported missing off Titi Island in the Marlborough Sounds. Say hello to Marlborough's first baby for 2018. Historic railway station to get a new lease on life. Appeal judges decide jail terms for a man and woman who robbed a terminal and plaster were too harsh. A big month of speed skating in Timaru gets underway on Wednesday. Reducing the number of people killed on our roads is a top priority for four new Timaru police officers. Thunderstorms may bring some much-needed moisture to the farmers of South Canterbury. Marion Bailey lost her locks as a fundraiser following her dad's cancer diagnosis. A whirlwind trip to Moiraki is a reminder you don't have to go far or spend much to get away from it all. A Wanaka paraglider has been found dead after crashing into a hillside. NZ First Deputy Leader Ron Mark Goes Country gets back on the horse and supports rodeo. A fire that destroyed a historic homestead near Queenstown is believed to have been accidental. Invercargill may have been short on fireworks on New Year's Eve, but 2018 got off to an explosive start nonetheless. Southland's sunny weather has meant good news for blueberry growers in the region. Police and worried family ask for help from the public to find missing woman Tia McRae. Stewart Island's tourism sector is booming as the as the season moves towards its busiest period in February.